everybody, and here's another book swap. I think it's the 12th one. I'm guessing it's the 12th one. Pretty sure it's the 12th one. FYI, all these books that I'm about to return to the library, I'm gonna put up reviews for them, so hold your horses before you ask me. First one is Signal in the Noise, Why So Many Predictions Fails, But Some Don't by Nate Silver. I actually just had a conversation with someone who actually emailed Nate Silver to get on Quora, which is a website, Q&A site that I'm a part of, and he actually joined Quora because she asked him to. What? And also, she's pen pals with Adam Savage, Mythbusters. Next one is Americanda by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I really did enjoy this, and I really think that she had very poignant observations about culture. Let's just say culture. Um, I'm definitely going to pick up her other book, um, Half of the Yellow Sun. Yes, Half of the Yellow Sun, so I can't wait to read more from her. And the next one is Cooked, A Natural History of Transformation by Michael Poland. I did really have some interesting insights into cooking, and I really want some barbecue. This really makes you hungry. Here are the books that I'm going to return. Stay tuned to see what I got. This is like the third time I'm going to attempt to film this, so it better work. So, as you can tell, I am back, and I have some books. Alright, so for the first one is Blood of Heaven by Kent Westcombe. This is a debut novel, and from what I understood of this synopsis, it gave me the feel of the Blood Meridian in the 18th, at the end of the 18th century, mixed with religion in Florida. So, a lot of violence, but it, it makes me right in the Blood Meridian, so I think I like that more than I thought I did, because that idea of reading that again. I might read the Blood Meridian again. I might need to read that again. Uh, the next one is another debut novel. Um, this is We Need New Names by Novella Bolawayo. Um, this is... Novella Bolawayo won um, the Keynes Prize in African Writing with a short story with a main character named Darling and she is a child growing up in a shanty town in Zimbabwe and so this is her debut novel. She uses that character again for a full novel and is is a coming of age story and and of a girl growing up in a shanty town in Zimbabwe and I think she has the opportunity to go to America. So I have wanted I have previously stated that I've wanted to read more African literature and I think this is on the right route. If anyone has any suggestions, especially for different um, parts of Africa, since I recently read Americana, which was from a Nigerian's perspective, I would like to read other parts of Africa. I think that would be interesting. So leave suggestions in the comments below. Might need some um, backstory. I'm not typically intimidated by long books because I don't have enough time to be intimidated by them because put requests to hold them through the library. I figure out I, I figure out why I, I want to read it through Goodreads. I don't look at the page count. I kind of forget look, to look at the page count and then I just go on what's next and then I reserve it online and so the only time I actually really am confronted with the reality of how long it is is when it actually is sitting there. Uh, so the next book that I've checked out is Neil Stephenson's Cryptonomicon. Um, so this is one of the situations where I was like, what is this big thing and why is my name sticking out of it? I honestly thought that this was going to be smaller, like 200 pages. No, why did I think that? I have no idea. I have no idea. Pretty much this book has been recommended to me by so many co-workers. After I read Gravity's Rainbow, they are all like, you have to read Neil Stephenson. And I think also after I read Who Owns the Future by Jared Lanier, I really wanted to read this since Neil Stephenson praised Who Owns the Future. He had a blurb on the back, which I thought was interesting, and also in reading Signal and Noise, it really made me want to connect all these ideas. And so I think it'll be interesting to balance all these you know, non-fiction books that I've read with a fiction book. And um, I think Neil Stephenson also, he deals a lot with you know technology in the future, and I believe that he um, actually talked about something like Bitcoin before Bitcoin was even a real thing, so 
I think it's really, I think you'll have an interesting perspective on the future after reading him and maybe he might make some more predictions. So, yeah, Cryptonomicon by Neil Stephenson. It's a beast. Here's what I checked out. I returned three books and this is what I got. Three more books. Oof. So I'm pretty excited about this. So, just so that you know, I am probably going to do a review on We Need New Names by Novala Bodawayo and, uh, Blood of Heaven by Ken Westcombe. Um, these are both under 2000 ratings. They are both debut novels, so I really, they probably need as much publicity as they can get. And I think everyone's pretty excited about, you know, potentially new awesome authors. And uh, I think Cryptonomicon has over, has like 95,000 ratings in Goodreads, so I really don't think that needs my help. That is my library swap, I hope. Uh, also, I hope you uh, check out my video uh, for questions if you haven't asked a question yet. It's going to be open to the end of the month if you want to ask me a question. And I don't know, maybe should I make it a giveaway? Do you want a giveaway? I don't know. I have no idea what I would want to give. Maybe I have an idea of something I would like to give. I don't know. I don't really have that many books. I'll figure something out. I don't know. I'm just babbling. I'm really just babbling, so I don't know. But might be a secret surprise if I don't if I only say in the video. It'll be like, you know, the treat for all those people who were gonna willing to ask me questions about anything in return. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye!